What's up guys? I'm coming out with a new video today. And to and today what we are going to be doing is so you know like the smell of rain. Um the space the space between your thumb and four fingers. Do you know the names of that? Um you probably don't. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to go we're going to be going over 58 everyday things you never knew had names. Okay, so, uh, this is on BuzzFeed, by the way. So, the first one is a petrichor, which is the way it smells outside after rain. Personally, I think it smells like cardboard. Uh, perlicue is the space between the thumb and forefingers. Um, interesting. Um, that's cool, I guess. I guess. Um, hold on a second. Okay, so the next one is an aglet, which is a plastic coating on a shoelace. I'm guessing it's this right here. Um, a vagitis is the cry of a newborn baby. That's a weird name. Uh, the glabella. Is the space between your eyebrows. That's funny. Um, chanking is spat out food. Like, I guess it's spood, food that you spit up or something. Uh, lanool is the white crescent shaped part of the nail. Like, oh, so that's like. On the back part of your nail, like, like right there, you see that white part? That's I think that's what the lanual is. Uh, a peen is the side opposite of the hammer striking side, so like the one that looks like a fork, kind of like a two pronged fork. Uh, the t the tines are the prongs on a fork, like. Um, nah. A souffle cup is a ketchup or condiment cup, cup. So, like, you know those, like, little white cups? I think that's what they're referring to, like, the little white things. That's probably what they're referring to. Um, a natiform is something that resembles a butt. Um, I guess it's... That's a interesting tree. That looks like poop. Uh, okay. A phosphenes. Phosphenes are the lights you see when you close your eyes and press your hands to them. Let's all do that together. Oh, I see them. They kind of look like shapes to me. Uh, a ner. A nurdle is a tiny dab of toothpaste. Dab. Oh, cringe. Wow. Uh, a box tent is the table in the middle of a pizza box. So, you know those, like, um, little plastic white things that they put on the top of the pizza, like, in the middle of it? I'm pretty sure that's what keeps the pieces t together. I don't know. Let's look it up. A pizza saver or package saver, sometimes referred to it as a pizza table, uh, is an object used to prevent the top of a food container, such as... Oh, okay, that's interesting. So, if say if you smush it down, um, it's so that the top of the container or the pizza box doesn't, like, sm smush the pizza. Um... I actually never knew this one. The cor cornic cornicion is the outer part of the crust on a pizza. Interesting. A barm is the foam on a beer. Rosetta is the lines on the inside of your wrist. Oh, I see. 
um, an overmorrow is the day after tomorrow. Interesting. A ferrule is the metal part of the end of the pencil. Plunt. A plunt is the bottom of a wine bottle. Like, right there. Yeah, I hear it, Nathan. I hear it. Uh, a minimus is your little toe or little finger. Um, isn't that called a pinky? Um, a zarf is the cardboard sleeve on a coffee cup. Like, that you get from Starbucks, maybe? Like, the cardboard things that go in your coffee cups. I have no clue what they're for, I guess. Make it not as hot or something. Like, make not burn your hand. Okay. A rect rectal tenismus. Rectal, rectal tenismus is the feeling of incomplete def defecation. I have no clue what that is. And a graph is the wired cage that holds the cork in a bottle of champagne. Like the metal wire around a cork that you see on champagne or wine. And they have like the uh, like metal, like kind of like tin foil on top of them. Um, a columella nasi is the space between your nostrils. I guess, like, right here. Uh, the lemniscate is the infinite, f infinite, infinity symbol. Uh, I thought that was called the infinity symbol. A desire path is a path created by natural means, simply because it is the shortest or most evilly na navigated way. Um... <laughs> Uh, an arm, arm sigh is the armhole in most clothing. A dysania is the state of finding it hard to get out of bed in the morning. Hmm. I guess I have that every day. Uh, collie wobbles. <laughs> collie wobbles are butterflies in your stomach. Okay. Uh. Cool. Nibbling is the non-gender specific term for a niece or nephew, like sibling. Oh, okay. So, um, instead of sibling, it's nibbling, and it's it has an N because it's either niece or nephew. I'm guessing. A, <laughs> hey Christian, you always have griffinage, unreadable handwriting. Guys, I'll be right back. <laughs> 